Now, today I want to talk to you guys about our new Western series called All In Refresh. When you came in today, you should have gotten a, uh, a vision card and you got a, uh, I'm going to next slide, David. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, I messed up. That's me. So when you came in, did anybody see the graphic out, out in the lobby? You might get to see that, kind of our, our big one. You go back to that one, Dave. You're on the right one. I messed up. Um, and th- and so got to see kind of the history of the church. We have never done that. And so we've been terrible about telling the story. And so many of you have come since the church has started and kind of wonder, uh, like, the whole history. We talk a little bit about it and discover, but you never get to see it. And so that is out there for you to take in and, and see the story uh, of a God being. We, we picked 12 milestone events that we could squeeze in in, in our 13-year history um, that we wanted to highlight. And the theme being this is we are, we are in the middle of that 13th milestone, and the key part is that you are part of the continuing story of Agape. So I wanted you to see it because I wanted you to understand it, but also realize that you are an active part. You're, that, you're part of that 13th milestone, and it's still being written right now, our continuing story. And so I am so excited about that. And so I want to encourage you uh, to, to, as, we, as you're looking there. When you came in today, you received, and I want to hit on this because I want you to be able to hear me and not be distracted thinking about where, where's the hook at. Well, here it is. And so when you came in today, you got a vision card and you got a connection card. Uh, when everybody should have got one, whether it's in your worship guide or if you didn't get a worship guide, they definitely should have handed you one when you came in. And so here's where the next one, Dave, is where we're going. And, and so after that, on Commitment Sunday, which is two Sundays, the 24th, uh, we are having a Commitment Sunday. What is that? Commitment Sunday is where we're going to take those cards that you, that you got today, and if you've already made a commitment, we started our all-in initiative last year, uh, and if you've already made a commitment, I'm not asking you for anything else. What I'm asking you to do is you're just going to affirm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing strong. Uh, if you have started last year and you feel like the Lord has put on your heart to increase or challenge you in your, in your faith or whatever, then you can say, hey, I'm going to increase it, and you, you, you put that amount. A lot of you were not here. We have had a, a very great season of growth, and a lot of you were not here when we started this. And so you're kind of wondering, like, what is all in and what's that about? That is where, where we're, we're talking about our future of our church and not just in a building. A lot of people know we have property out on 16th Avenue, uh, but that's not all in. And if you go around in the lobby, there are different, uh, different posters mounted on a post in our lobby that talk about what all in looks like in every department of our church. What's it like for men and women's ministry? What's it like for students? What's it look like for agape kids? Uh, what's it look like for discover agape? All of the different areas of our church, like what does it look like? Because all in is not a building campaign. All in is a mentality. It's a calling. We are choosing to sacrificially give because we have an opportunity, but that's not the whole thing, and I want you to get a good grip of that. So we're explaining that as well. If you aren't here last year and you want to participate for these next 12 months, these last 12 months of this campaign, you would fill out this bottom and say, hey, I'm new, and you would fill this out accordingly. What you normally give, you would then put in what the Lord's challenging you to give through all in, and then you would just total that out. All of us, though, on the 24th, are going to make, or we're going to commit to, or whatever that would be, we're all going to come on the 24th, and that will be Commitment Sunday. And why I'm telling you that is because I don't want you to be worried about it from there. I want you to hear the messages that I'm giving because I'm not going to give you messages designed to motivate you to give. Um, this is the message. I'm asking you just to go before the Lord. And on the 24th, we're going to all come together. These white boxes will be here. They're here right now. Uh, They're not just for the 24th. uh, But I'm just telling you, on the 24th, we're going to all participate in that. It's going to be a great day. We're going to celebrate, and we're going to set ourselves up for our future day. What I got after that one uh, is just that reminder. Yep, as we dive in. So I want you to understand, because as I go into the message, uh, I know sometimes for me, like anybody ever have a salesman, and they're kind of talking with you about, like, how great their product is? And we're all thinking one thing. How much this thing cost? This is awesome. Okay, so I don't want you to take, I don't want you worried about the next three weeks I jump into the series, like, okay, what's Pastor James going to go? I haven't, I've told you, Commitment Sunday will be on the 24th. Uh, before service next week, I'm going to go, Commitment Sunday's on the 24th. And then on the 24th, I'm saying today's Commitment Sunday, and we're going on from there. 